The most connected man on earth at any given time, Chris Dancy, utilizes 700 systems at once to monitor his every move. You might say he's the closest thing we have to real life cyborg. Chris and his 700 sensors are here, and I have one question for you. Why? <laughs> Why all these sensors and monitors? Gosh, you know, five years ago, I started looking at the employment situation in the United States, and I thought to myself, within a decade, it's going to be so drastically different. What's going to be important? And for me, it was really about personal information. Right now, so much of our time is sold by attention. How quickly can we get someone's attention? But it's the information that we trade for that. So are you marketing something here? Is that what you're doing? No, I don't. No, these are all things I buy. Actually, no one's ever given me anything. What is it, what is it that you're monitoring? I mean, you've got the watch on, you've got the phones, you've got the Google Glass, you have sensors all over over your body yes, that we yes. can't see, right? Yes, yes. So right so, now I'm wearing a posture belt, so if I start to slouch, my mom would be happy. It tells me to sit up a little bit straighter. Okay, what else? Uh, I have a heart rate monitor on that right now it's... I'm doing okay. You're okay. I'm not, you're not making me You're not very nervous. No, okay. No, no. Um, <laughs> and then I've got a something called a body media, which does galvanic skin response, and then this for movement. And then... So anything in white is actually displaying information to me. Mm -hmm. Anything in black is actually collecting information. It's like this little camera is taking a picture every few seconds. So how do you have time to process all this? I don't. This is the beautiful thing. Okay. So what, I, so what I did was I just said, hey, all this information should be mine. So I just started looking for ways to get it out of these systems without me touching anything and into one place where if I needed to, I could search. So think about you just search Google, like, hey, show me this, show me the closest, you know, Cantonese restaurant. I can say, show me the last time I was on news with someone. So what, so what have you learned about yourself that's been particularly useful or shocking? I have a lot of bad habits. Really? Like what? <laughs> like, give uh, us the clean ones that we can have on television. What's a bad habit? Well, no, I just, I found for me, you know, I've lost 100 pounds, but how really? I... Really? Yes, I've lost wow. 100 pounds. A, a data-driven lifestyle. Okay. So basically, I was looking at the habits that happened before and after meals and saying, is there some correlation I can make here? And then started saying, well, maybe I could change the temperature in the house or maybe the lights could be different. Or So what did you change that helped you lose 100 pounds? I bet a lot of people out there would like to follow on. What did you learn from all this that helped you change that? Well, the, one of the first things I found was that how I ate was really directly related to a lot of the things I was engaging in. So certain people would stress me out to a way that I wasn't aware of and I would eat terrible a few hours later. Certain television shows, certain types of music would either make me anxious or more healthy. So really being aware of those things and then removing them huh. changed your habits. Is there a way for you to make money off this? Are you going to market any of this or any of this knowledge? Write a book? Something? You know, I, I, no. I'm not, I have no plans to do any of those things right now. Right now what's important to me is helping people understand that their future's okay. probably tied up in their own. I think there's a way to make money off this. We'll talk <laughs> after the show because the okay. show is called Money. Joe, let me ask you, what do you think about all this? Well, I'd like to know, you're using all of these wearables every single day. Every what day. do you want Apple to come out with next or what Ooh, are you hoping question. for? Mm. You know, right now I think, you know, Apple, you know, a lot of people are talking about Apple doing something called Health Book, mm -hmm. which will help us, you know, keep track of all of our, you know, body sensors and, and information. You know, I think Apple should be able to make that information portable to our doctors. Right now we have a lot of health applications and our trainers can't see that information. Our trainers and our physicians need this information. But there's HIPAA laws that stand in the way of that. But there's nothing. I, but I can share it on Facebook with my doctor. Interesting. So I mean, those laws are outdated. Okay. Very good. Thank you for coming on. Thank it's you just so fascinating. Much. All right. So we... So, yeah, I think we're good. I think that about wraps it up. So Great. I'll send a follow-up email. I don't, there's nothing much to follow up on, so I... Well, we, we should regroup. We just regrouped. This is the regrouping. <laughs> cool, I'll ping you later. You're pinging me now. What do you want to ping about? Next steps? There are no...